So we're at Grave 787 now, John Daly. Um, and John is another guy who served in a very famous unit, the 28th Massachusetts Infantry, which is part of the Irish Brigade. He was in Company F of that unit. And he died here on the 28th of April, officially due to chronic diarrhea. Um, what's interesting about John in particular is that he was captured at one of the most famous engagements that the Irish Brigade ever fought in. He was captured at uh, Gettysburg, the Battle of Gettysburg, somewhere on Stony Hill when the Irish Brigade were being pushed back into the wheat field. But we can tell a bit about his life. He was 25 years old when he married his fellow Irish immigrant Mary Gately in Roxbury, Massachusetts. And this is something we consistently see with the Irish is that they tend to marry into their own community. About 90% of Irish immigrant women at this time would, could expect to marry a, a, an Irish man um, in the United States. But when John um, married initially, he was a gunsmith. But by the time he enlists in November 1861, he was recorded as a labourer. And we see this a lot with the Irish, where their trade um, seem, seems to move up and down. They're moving up and down through the socio-economic ranks because they're vulnerable. Uh, and so always there seems to be this sort of economic imperative um, that's driving them a lot of the time. When he first enlists, it's actually the same month that his son was born. So you can imagine it, it would be a tough decision to leave and go off into the army when he did. Um, as I say, he became a private in Company F and he served through all the famed actions of the Irish Brigade. He was at the Battle of Antietam at Sunken Lane. He was attacking the Stone Wall. Um, it's, sorry, he wasn't at the Battle of Antietam because the 28th weren't there. But he was attacking the Stone Wall at Fredericksburg um, in 1862, um, right up um, to, to Gettysburg. Captured on the 2nd of July, taken south by the, with the rebel army, and like so many here, was incarcerated at Richmond first before ending up in Andersonville. In the aftermath of this, and again, you see this an awful lot with working class widows, in 1867, his widow Mary remarried, um, because again, there was an imperative um, for a lot of them for economic reasons to remarry at that time. And she, al he also, um, she wedded another Irish native guy called Patrick McGee in Massachusetts.